Please hang up and try again. Hey, what's up everyone? Louis Tran here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the highly anticipated Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Now, the Note 7 is one of the last few flagship phones that come out for the end of the year. So, you got the uh, Galaxy Note, and you have the Nexus, the next Nexus phone by Google, and uh, of course, Apple's uh, next iPhone, which is going to be the iPhone 7 uh, that should be coming out in September. But uh, Samsung it's got their final flagships out uh, first, so we're going to be taking a look at that. And um, in by no way, this is a, a full-fledged review. This is just a 48-hour uh, first impressions review because I just got this phone on uh, Thursday evening, and today is a Sunday morning. So you know, I just uh, spent a couple of days with it so far. Uh, went out, took a few pictures, um, and you know, I didn't really utilize all of the features yet. So. Uh, be on the lookout for a full review uh, coming up later on in the future. I mean, there's just so many things that you can do with a note. So I'm um, just giving you my first uh, impressions in this in this segment. I don't want to call it a review. Maybe it's a review. Maybe it's not a review. But um, anyway, let's uh, get right into the unboxing. All right, let's unbox this right now. God damn it, sirens. Okay, uh, so let's get into the unboxing right now. Let me open this up. And, wait a minute, what the hell? There's nothing in here. Oh wait, it's the Note 7 that's recording me right now. So, uh, if you're looking at the video, uh, this is what the video capabilities of the Note 7 is. So, all right, let's get into the real unboxing. All right, let's unbox this thing. Let's take it out of the box. Let's peel off the sticker. Uh, oh crap, oops, I tore the box, whatever. All right, now let's take it out. Okay, here it is, the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 in all its glory. And here we have the uh, the SIM card and the uh, the SIM ejection tool with a bunch of uh, tips for the S Pen. And here's the uh, the fast charge, rapid fast charger, USB-C cable, and here's the uh, cable adapter. Nice of Samsung to pack it in. Also a set of uh, headphones. Samsung pretty much invented the phablet by first introducing the first ever once mocked Note a few years ago and have come closer and closer to perfection to each iteration of their flagship device. In the Note 7, they make the world well aware who's the best when it comes down to these types of smartphones. Unlike other so-called phablets like the iPhone 6s Plus or even the Nexus 6P, although excellent devices, they are just large phones. The Note 7 is much more thanks to added software tweaks to the OS and the inclusion of their stylus called the Yes Pen, which truly defines this phablet line. In terms of physical design, the Note 7 is in my opinion the best looking phone in its class. It is well built with glass and aluminum, weighs 169 grams and very thin. iPhone 6 S Plus weighs 192 grams. What I find incredible is that even though it is a larger screen than the iPhone 6 S Plus, it is physically lighter and smaller. So first impressions in the first 48 hours, the always on display seemed gimmicky at first, but it makes a great desk clock and I already find it useful. Fingerprint scanner is pretty quick, but I like the Nexus 6P's execution a lot better. TouchWiz has been pretty much a smooth experience. I mean, if you hate the cartoony looking icons, just go to the theme store and download a theme. I'm using the material theme, which is free. Or if you can also download your own launcher, I mean, some people like the uh, the more stock look, so you can download the Google uh, Now Launcher or uh, Nova Launcher. Now, if you guys are wondering what case I'm using, it's the uh, Spigen Ultra Hybrid Air, which is an excellent case. Link to that in the description of this video. Now, performance was slow at the beginning after installing a bunch of apps, but once that was done, everything now flies. I was a bit squeamish in shutting off iMessage at first, but there are only two people that are really iMessage anyway. Everyone else has WhatsApp, Facebook, Hangouts, and other alternatives, so I got over it in 30 minutes. Now if your iPhone friends aren't willing to install that on their phones, they're not worth talking to anyway. Let's just use plain old SMS. Being able to scribble notes right on the screen by just pulling out the S Pen without opening any apps or waking the phone has been a godsend. I've owned the phone for less than two days and I've used it a lot already. There are also a lot of other things that you can do with the S Pen such as write on your screenshots, select and crop what you want to screenshot, and even 
select and translate text. What used to be real stupid gimmicks are now extremely useful tools. Good job Samsung on that part. Now this pretty much sums up my thoughts on the uh, Note 7's S Pen coming from someone who's owned an iPhone 6S Plus as well as a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. I had tacos for dinner and had food smears all over my phone on the first night in owning this, but I didn't care. Since this was IP68 uh, water resistant or waterproof, I just washed it off in the sink and my Note 7 was all squeaky clean again. So, you know, having water resistance or waterproof, having that waterproof peace of mind, it's good to have. All right, so let's take a listen to the speaker performance. I mean, they're not that bad as some people say they are, but you know, they're not that great either. So, I mean, it's pretty much on the lower end of the mediocre scale on the speaker performance. I mean, they're definitely no HTC uh, boom sounds, but I mean, they, they work. That, that, that's, that's, that's all I can say, but you know, that's uh, pretty, I'll leave that opinion up to you. Guys. Okay, so let's take a look at battery life. Oh wait, before getting into that, I'm using AirDroid to show you the battery life because the glare is really bad right now if I try to record from the camera. One of, many, one of the many beauties of Android is that you get cool apps that allow you to mirror what's on your screen without needing to root or jailbreak. So, all right, so taking a look at the battery from the maintenance screen. So it shows that I have about seven, hour, seven and a half hours left with 54% um, battery life. So, you know, looking at the usage, you know, I've powered it on like a little before uh, 9 o'clock and it's 3 o'clock, so I have 54% left. And then I've been using it a lot, so I uh, have 2 hours and 42 minutes of screen on time. So this will definitely go beyond 4.5 to probably almost 5 hours of screen on time. I mean, I haven't really spent enough time with this to max, max out the battery yet, so I'll update as I uh, use the phone more. All right, so now time to test out the camera. The camera is as good as uh, most people say it is. However, some may hate the post-processing that Samsung tends to exaggerate on the saturation of photos. So let's take a look at uh, some of these pictures and then you be the judge. For more photos at the full resolution, I'm going to include the link to my Flickr at the description. Okay, so in the beginning of the video, we were, I was recording with the rear-facing camera, so now I'm recording with the, uh, the front-facing camera. So right now I'm holding a selfie stick, uh, recording myself in selfie mode right now. So my thoughts on the Note 7, I mean, right now, if you're looking for the best smartphone you could possibly get, uh, at this very second, it would definitely definitely be the Note 7. But if you want to play it safe, I mean, if you're, uh, you know, if your world is iOS and you just can't get away from, you know, from the Apple ecosystem or the iOS ecosystem, then, you know, definitely wait for the, uh, for the iPhone 7, which is coming out next month, as well as, you know, if you're into stock Android, uh, the Note, sorry, the Nexus, the next Nexus phone is coming out uh, pretty soon as well, so you know just be on the lookout for that. I mean, uh, if you're happy with your iPhone 6s, 6s Plus, and you're you know you're stuck in the Apple ecosystem, yeah, definitely wait. And if you're into stock Android, stick with your Nexus 6P for now. I mean, you're not going to to miss it that much if you're you know if you really hate TouchWiz and you know you have no interest in owning a uh, a phablet with a, <laughs> with a stylus. So. 
I mean, I mean other than that, I, I definitely recommend getting the Note 7. So, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.